Happy Friday, folks, and welcome to WatchGuard Security Week in Review, a video podcast dedicated to quickly summarizing the biggest information and network security stories each week and to sharing some practical security tips along the way. I'm your host and security geek, Corey Nockreiner, and this is the episode for the week starting January 26, 2015. First, let's recap this week's daily security bites. On Monday, I talked about some interesting website hacks, including Malaysian Airlines and a Russian site called Topface. In updated news, Topface apparently capitulated to their attackers' demands and paid them off, which I think is a very bad idea. On Tuesday, I talked about the big ghost vulnerability, a glibc vulnerability that affects many, many Linux systems and is very uh, serious. You should check it out if you're a Linux administrator. I also did mention that WatchGuard devices, some of them are affected, but in a limited fashion. Next up, on Wednesday, I talked about how new Kaspersky research seems to prove that Regin is indeed Western nation-state malware coming from the Five Eyes. Then on Thursday, I talked about how a malvertising campaign on a popular adult website was using the recent Adobe Zero Day to spread malware. If you haven't applied Adobe's patches, you should do so immediately. Now let's move on to Friday's news. Today's big news is a story about interesting new evasive malware. One of WatchGuard's partners, WebSense, blogged about a new piece of malware called a Foxy. Now, in most cases, it's very similar to other malware. However, what's interesting is the way it sets up a command and control channel trying to evade traditional security controls. Essentially, when the malware infects your computer and tries to call home to the attacker, it doesn't go out to the malicious server directly. Rather, it goes and talks to a very popular Russian social networking site called Feed Contact. And it goes to that site to actually get from a post the real address of the command and control server. But what's also interesting is the way the malware then connects to that command and control server. It actually uses Microsoft's BITS. That stands for Background Intelligent Transfer Service. And it's this background service that downloads stuff in the background to not take uh, tasks away from more important processes. It's something Microsoft uses to download their updates and to download security updates updates to Microsoft Defender. The malware uses this service because it's a trusted service. So if you have a local firewall, a host-based firewall scanning for uh, network connections your computer makes, it will probably trust this network connection because it's coming from a trusted Microsoft service. So it's a good way to evade a host-based local firewall. The good news is if you have network-based security controls like watch guards, it won't be tricked by this particular connection and will still be able to catch these type of command and control channels. That's it for this week. I hope you found the episode interesting as well as watched the daily security bites. By the way, our blog's been down for a while, so I can't post the additional news I usually put out with these videos. But good news, our blog is back. If you go to blog.watchguard.com or watchguardsecuritycenter.com, our blog is technically up. Now, I haven't been able to update it since the web architecture, so it's going to take a while before I start to catch up with some of the posts we've been missing. But be sure to check out the blog and subscribe to it for the most recent information. On top of that, if you've already subscribed to the blog, we're still handling uh, fixing the email list, so you should get emailed of updates in the future. That said, you can also follow me on Twitter, I am at SecAdept, or you can follow WatchGuard at WatchGuard Tech. And by the way, you should also subscribe to my YouTube channel here if you want the videos immediately. As always, thank you for watching, and here at WatchGuard, we're rooting for you. Thank mm -hmm. you.